High School Football. This is the Coin 6 Blitz. Brought to you by Nika IBEW Mobile 48. All right, and this is our quarterfinal edition of the Coin 6 Blitz. I'm Adam, she is AJ, and no time to waste. Game of the week was sensational. Fifth seeded Tiger visiting number four Jesuit. Yeah, and this was about as evenly, evenly matched as you could hope for. Both teams only one loss on the season. Oh, Tiger to waste exactly no time. We're just two minutes into this thing when Max Lindsay picks off Will Spitznagel. That's one of three interceptions for Lindsay on the night. Wow. Yeah, pretty good. And a few plays later, Fletcher All is going to turn that into six points wide open. Tiger jumps out to a 13 0 lead in the first quarter just before the half. Crusaders start to get their engines going. Spitznagel, the Josh Dahl, 44 yards. For the score, and it's only a three point game at the half. Let's go to midway through the third. Tigers with their third pick of the night, and Cole Scott punches it in from four yards out. So it's 22 10 Tigered at that point, but oh my goodness, Jesuit. Ken Potter's one of the best in the state for the reason. 19 seconds left in the game. He calls for Spitznagel to keep it, and his senior QB delivers. Jesuit wins it 23 22. What a game. So it is all down to our weather gal and myself and our anchor pick em. Yes, Natasha and I, uh, both of us taking Jesuit, moving to eight and four on the season. AJ and Jeff right there at six and six. Jennifer, she needs some help. Bring it up the rear at four and eight on the season. She left the studio. She's so mad. She's so mad, yeah. <laughs> Eighth ring Central Catholic entered the night as the highest seed, still playing. Tall task against number one Lake Oswego. Casey Filkins, he's just marking his territory. Touchdown Lakers, they strike first, but Central is ram tough. Cade Knighton goes up top to Calvin Sauters and Gets a little street cred for that spectacular grab. However, the Rams had to settle for a field goal. It's a 7-3 ball game. But Lake O showing why they are numero uno. Thomas Ducart making it 14-3. Lake Oswego's moving on. 35-24. They get Jesuit next. Unbeaten Clackamas, the number two seed, taking on seventh-ranked Jet Liberty. And this one, all Cavaliers in the third. It's hammer time. Jalen Hammer ripping off the 45 yard run. Makes it 35 15. Clackamas, the ground game really working for the Cavs tonight. Caleb Jordan made it 42 14 on this nice little jaunt. Then, for good measure, Nemo Deadman takes the wide receiver screen 40 yards to the house. The Hizzy. There you go. Clackamas wins it 59 21. West Lynn, the 6A seed, or the 6 seed, uh, hopped on a bus and headed down to uh, Eugene. Sheldon awaiting them. Opening drive, Michael Johnson Jr. showing why he's headed to Penn State next year. Jack Folsom on the other end. Irish up quickly. West Lynn not phased. They would match what the Irish did. They score on their opening possession. Dawson Jolly, he's done this a lot. Lions would miss the PAT. Making it 7 6. Now, the rest of the night pretty much dominated by Sheldon. Matthew Burgess getting the rock and finding the edge, and he ain't stopping until he gets enough. Irish hold serve, ending Westland season 38 26. They'll face Clackamas in the semis. Blazers, Portland State after the break.